The inquiry into the death of former KGB spy Alexander Litvinenko at London's High Court has been concluded. Ben Emerson, the lawyer representing the widow of the ex-KGB agent, says Moscow has attempted to frustrate and manipulate the inquiry into Litvinenko's death from beginning to end. British authorities believe that the Kremlin critic was poisoned with green tea laced with polonium-210 at the Millennium Hotel in central London on November 1st, 2006, during a meeting with two Russians, Andrei Lugovoy and Dmitry Kovtun. On the final day of the inquiry, Emerson said the evidence proved the case against them beyond reasonable doubt. The Kremlin has always denied involvement, as have Lugovoy and Kovtun, who Russia has refused to extradite. Kovtun offered in March to give evidence via video link, but pulled out at the last minute. Making his closing statement, the lawyer for the Metropolitan Police told the court that Andrei Lugovoy and Dmitry Kovtun poisoned Litvinenko with radioactive polonium-210. It is the scientific evidence that condemns Lugovoy and Kovtun. And no matter how many state honours Putin may pin to Lugovoy's chest, for services to the motherland. However meteoric Lugovoy's rise in politics has been and may become, however many conferences Cobton may hold, or how many times Cobton promises to blow apart this inquiry, Lugovoy and Kovtun have no credible answer to the scientific evidence and to the trail of polonium they left behind. The science is the principal evidence against them, and prejudice for or against Russia plays no part in its presentation or value. It is as untainted as it is damning. The fallout from Litvinenko's murder chilled Anglo-Russian relations to a post-Cold War low. As ties improved, Britain rejected holding an inquiry in 2013, but with relations subsequently soured by Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the British government changed their mind last July.